everybody. Welcome to the Healthy Joints, Healthy Lifestyle Show. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dr. Arinola Dada. I'm a rheumatologist in the greater Seattle area, and I help people with autoimmune disease get the immune system back on track. So let's talk about Sjogren's. There is exciting new things happening in the world of Sjogren's. It has the world of rheumatology abuzz. What is Sjogren's? Sjogren's is an autoimmune disease that causes inflammation in the lacrimal glands. So that is the um, glands that kind of produce moisture in the eyes and also the glands in the parotid glands that are ne necessary to produce saliva. Why do we care so much about producing fluid um, in the eye to maintain moisture? Well, um, if there is no moisture in the eye, um, then it feels like every time you open and close your eyelid, it feels like sandpaper is going up and down. Two, if you have dry mouth, well, it means that the uh, you're not benefiting from the antibacterial properties of saliva. Why, what is an autoimmune disease? It means the immune system is supposed to protect you from enemies, both foreign and domestic. And the foreign um, enemies are like bacteria and infections, and your immune system is supposed to protect you from that, or also protect you from domestic invaders, such as things like cancers. And when you have some cells that are going crazy, your immune system is supposed to actually protect the body, and that's how we survive. Now, when the immune system goes crazy and it starts to attack normal cells, thinking that they are abnormal, well, that is when we say we have an autoimmune disease. Back to Sjogren's. So um, the most common presentation is people have dry eyes and dry mouth, but fatigue is a big one. In fact, a number of people with Sjogren's are being diagnosed with Sjogren's because they're having fatigue. So fatigue is a big one. And then sometimes joint pains and muscle pains. So people have People can also have organ involvement. So people can have Sjogren's that actually, sometimes I get a, somebody referred to me because the pulmonary specialist, the lung specialist has identified, they have some changes and the lung specialist like it refers to rheumatologists say, hey, can you run some rheumatologic testing, specifically Sjogren's, to make sure that Sjogren's is not what's presenting in the lungs. Some people can have numbness in their feet. And also some people can have vaginal dryness that you can imagine impacts the quality of life because that means there's painful sex. So Sjogren's really has multiple manifestations. And the exciting thing about Sjogren's is that there are treatments coming. And in fact, in March 2025, the FDA fast-tracked one of the multiple treatment options for Sjogren's because honestly, till date, we have struggled with having options for patients. So when it comes to dry eyes, there are certain options that can help, but nothing is really a cure. So let's talk about what can you do. So one is making sure that you're using like um, artificial tears, but nothing with preservatives. Like I said that in a previous video, um, making sure that you have some, a humidifier in the room. Make sure they're using like eye oil lubricants um, at night and gels that can help trap in the moisture. And that's for your eyes. Um, for your mouth, um, you want to avoid sugar sugary candy. You want to make sure that if you're taking any candy, it's, when you're eating any candy, it's sugarless candy, um, specifically something that has xylitol. Xylitol actually inputs xylitol, Z-Y-L-O-L-O-T-I-L-O-L. -L -O -L. So xylitol actually um, has um, the ability to induce saliva from the glands. Um, other things that are helpful, for instance, is um, Salagin, it's a medication, or Evosac. Those are medications you can talk to your um, physician about, and they can prescribe that to you just to help improve some of those symptoms. But we have not had something that dramatically improves the symptoms of Sjogren's, especially when we're even talking about some of those, um, you know, all the symptoms that people have, like the fatigue, that is so difficult to treat. And so some of these new treatments are really looking very exciting for our patients. So the big reason I also wanted to get jump on real quick was to tell people that are dealing with Sjogren's and have been suffering with Sjogren's that really have gone from doc to doc to doc, and they really haven't had any treatment options. Change is coming. 
new things are coming, new options are coming. There is new hope on the horizon for people with Sjogren's. But right now, a lot of these treatments are in clinical trials. So I would say if you are in the greater Seattle area and you're dealing with Sjogren's, come to our clinic at Overlake Arthritis Osteoporosis Center. Check out our website. Send a message that you're interested in knowing more about Sjogren's and we can help you. If you're not in the greater Seattle area, contact your rheumatologist. At least they can put you on a wait list if they're involved in clinical trials, which you should be, honestly, because one, it gives you access to these medications. Two, you get a lot of those medications and you get a lot of observation by your doctor to make sure that if there are any side effects, because side effects is something we're all concerned about. If there are any side effects at all, that you are being monitored. And then you have the cutting edge, edge of things. Um, but if your rheumatologist, for instance, is not participating in clinical trials, at least get in touch with them so that once medications are available to the public, that you're one of the first people that start to benefit from this because Sjogren's has been impacting people's quality of life. And it's time for us with patients with Sjogren's to get their lives back. So my name is Dr. Arinola Dada in the greater Seattle area. I'm a rheumatologist. Find us at Overlake Arthritis and Osteoporosis Center. Share this video, like it, especially if you have anybody dealing with Sjogren's. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.